everybody, it's TR here, and I'm back with an update on the fridge, as I promised. I did finally get the louver cover modified. As you may recall, I had to drop that the fridge shelf 4 inches to accommodate the new unit. I was also wanting to have something that I could keep that fridge from walking out of the hole. Where I left off the part 3 video is, is I had those wheels sitting in the slot between the shelf and the, basically the front of the face frame of that cabinet. I didn't really think that was going to work out uh, for a couple reasons. One, it's actually a game I play. Uh, I'll be driving down the road and I hear something crash onto the floor. And then I sit there and try to think, uh, what, the, what did that sound like? What was that that fell that I forgot to get tied up? Well, I don't want that fridge falling out of the hole. And what I'm worried about is as you're rolling down the road, you're going to get to bouncing a little bit. And I was thinking that fridge might start to walk its way out of there. And I wanted to hold it into that hole a little bit better. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up a piece of angle aluminum that was one and a half inches on each side. And so I cut that down into four inch pieces and then rounded off one edge of it because I didn't want any sharp edges hanging out there. So I kind of tried to match it to the profile of the feet that were supposed to go on the front of the fridge that I had left off at the end of the part three video. Well, I decided to add those feet back on and I wanted a bracket on there that was attractive. It wasn't hanging out there with very sharp edges on it that you catch your leg on and rip yourself open and so on and so forth. Well, basically, I just rounded them off a little bit uh, with a peanut grinder. Well, I call it peanut grinder. It's really a four-inch grinder uh, with a grinding wheel on it. So I just ground off the corners of it to make it nice and round. Well, after I painted them, then I mounted the brackets to the front of the louver panel with some pretty heavy-duty screws. And then I took that louver panel itself and I held it up so that the face of the louver panel will stop the fridge from walking out of the hole as you roll down the road. I want to follow up on one other thing, and that's my power usage. And uh, I've been using about 500 kilowatts a month less since I put the new fridge in than on the old fridge. And I think it's because that old fridge was just not efficient. I mean, you know, it was basically, I think it must have been running most of the time just to try to maintain cool. I had installed some units a while back to be able to monitor the shore power, the quality of the shore power that you get from uh, your pedestal when you pull into an RV park. And I knew that I was going to be saving quite a bit of energy when I put this new fridge in, but it looks to be somewhere around four to 500 kilowatts a month, which at 16 cents a kilowatt, what's that work out to? Like uh, 40, 50 bucks? So it was a money-saving thing, and also it's really nice to have such a large fridge that just is cold. That's the bottom line, it's cold. So I just want to catch you up. I'll be hitting the road here in a couple of days, and then I'll uh, let you know how it rolls down the road if I have any trouble with it walking out of the hole. The way I have that louver moved up, uh, I moved it up about three-eighths of an inch, so there's no way that fridge can walk itself out of there now. And I'm not worried about it tipping at all, especially since now that I have those front feet on there, and I've adjusted those down to uh, sit on top of those brackets that I installed on the louver panel. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Uh, there'll be more updates as necessary but this is probably the last one for now so till the next time we get together Dripping light, paint the sky.